Hello everyone, it's PC Alpha here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game Readfall. So in this video, the steps I'll be showing you, the first one is specific to this game and rest all the fixes are general, that is it will be applicable, they will be applicable to all the games and will help in improving performance of all the games. So I have several workarounds, so let's get started. So the first workaround is the most helpful for this particular game. I found this fix on a steam forum. So this is not my original fix but this video is for your convenience so you don't have to go through all these forums. So the fix is posted by this user Ogami. Cloth physics is a performance killer. Turn it down to medium or low, still looks fine. Also texture set to ultra seems to have some kind of memory leak bug at the moment and the VRAM fills up way too fast and has to start flushing cycling textures after a while leading to stutter. So all you have to do is if you have a decent PC change the video settings as follow change shadows to medium cloth fix to medium or low because they are not that important and it doesn't make a much difference but if you set them to high it really stutters the game really stutters SSAO to high or medium depending on your PC anti analyzing that I use is TAAA particles normal textures high or medium and dynamic resolution all the way to the right Almost every game I play automatically turn down shadows and particles, they hurt performance a lot. Particle isn't too much in the game but it will save you 5 fps usually and it looks identical to high setting anyway. So that's it for the first step and it was the most important one. Now let's go to the second one, it is also a really important one. Now let's come to the second step, in this step we'll be downloading a game booster. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So a game booster increases your performance, gaming performance by a margin. So the game booster I recommend you to download is Razer Cortex Game Booster. Search for download Razer Cortex and go to the first link by Razer.com and it will redirect you to this page and all you have to do is click on download now and the downloading of this game booster will start. Once it's downloaded, its installation is really simple, install it but its advanced setup is a bit complicated so I've made a separate video and it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to do advanced setup of this game so watch that video you can find the link of that video in the description of this video or you can just right click on the upper right corner of your screen right now and you will be seeing a card that will redirect you to that video so please watch that video because this game booster will really help in increasing the performance of your game so now let's proceed to the third step now let's come to the third step and this will be changing our PC's configuration to change your PC's configuration all you have to do is type run and here type msconfig that is msconfig and press enter it will take few seconds to load depending on your pc's configurations and once it's here do the settings as i've done in my pc in selector started startup select load system services and load startup items in boot click no gui boot and time out to 3 seconds it's 30 seconds by default change it to 33 seconds in services Hide all Microsoft services and select, uh, unselect the services that, you are, that are of no need to you while playing a game. So I'll deselect Adobe services, Google Chrome services, Easy Anti-Cheat, Team Viewer, and AZKL services. These are all the services that I know, don't, don't need while playing a game. So if you find an, any other service, accept them that are of no use to you, then you can deselect them too. Now go to startup and open task manager. And here, disable all the apps from the startup that are of no note to you on startup that are not necessary. So I've only enabled as you can see Realtek HD Audio Manager and HD Background Processes that are necessary for sound performance of your PC. Rest all I have disabled and to disable right click on it and there will be option of disabling it. So that's it for this step. Now let's proceed to the last step. This step will be disabling, not disabling, we will be changing visual settings of a PC. So just open your this PC, right click on it and go to its properties, wait for the properties to load and here go to advanced system settings and advanced system settings under performance click on settings and here by default it's let windows choose what's best for your computer just click on adjust for best performance and it will untick everything and here all you have to do is just click on smooth edges for screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons that's it these are the ones you require for nice appearance of your pc and best performance so apply these settings wait for them to apply and then just click on ok so what it do is it just does not 
help in improving your gaming performance. It frees a lot of your PC's RAM that is used in just betterment of your PC's appearance. So you don't need a better appearance while playing games. So that's it for this step. This was the last step. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. If you have any doubt, please write in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.